Hi everyone, you're watching Me and My Golf. Today we're talking about the low flying, high spinning check and roll pitch. Just like that. Ooh, Ooh, we nearly dumped nearly it. In. Let's take charge of your game. Hi everyone, the low flying, high spinning pitch shot. Andy, this is what a lot of people want to see and today we're going to give it them, aren't we? We are, yes. Okay, so look, what we're doing, this is part of a uh, the Share Your Swing uh, competition we did with 18 birdies. So Rich Nairsil has already had his analysis on his long game. We've looked at his stats next and his pitching is what he needs to work at. And this is the shot that he wants to play better. So the shot we're looking at here is between 50 and 70 yards. So as he goes back, again, there's no real problems here. It looks nice, it's a shorter swing. We'll come back to that club face later, Andy, because he's done some improvements there. But as he's swinging down, you can see his body is moving down. So his head is coming down. It's as though he's trying to drive down into the golf ball. And we can see when he's striking the golf ball here, actually he's taking a very big divot. It's probably a little bit heavy, a little bit high on the face. And as soon as you get it high on the face, and as soon as you get a big divot like that, and he looks like he's adding a little bit of loft as well when he's striking the golf ball, it's gonna be difficult for this golf ball to go in low and spin. But before we show the people how to play this shot, Andy, look at this. This was his swing a few months ago. On the right, on the right there, you can see, look at that club face, how open it was, how open it is into the top of the backswing, the cup in the, in the wrist and the, open club face at the top of the backswing. Look at the difference now. That lead wrist is flat, that club face is square. Listen to what we've said, well done. There. He has, and that's why he's Amazing improved changes. Amazing that's changes. why he's improved his driving. Look, he's really committing to his game as well because he's actually doing our flexible and 15 plan. He was getting a little bit of lower back pain. He's in a lot better shape now. So make sure you check out that coaching plan, flexible and 15. Andy, come on, people want to know how to play this. Okay, well, let's go through some of the mistakes that people make when they do this. So. I think a lot of people know, Pierce, to hit this low flying one, we get told that we need to, the, to put the golf ball back in the stance, Correct. hit down on the golf ball mm. to sort of create this low flying shot. Now, while there's some truth in that, what we have to understand is what's going to change the dynamic loft and the flight of the golf ball is the loft at impact. This is what influences it most. So if we can change the loft at impact, that's going to get us the trajectory that we want. Hitting down won't do it alone. If we hit down into the back of the golf ball, but produce a lot of loft, well, you're gonna create a lot of interaction with the ground, a, a poor strike, and we're not gonna create this lean that we need. So what we're gonna focus on, Pierce, as, you, as we can see from Rich, is hitting down heavily into the golf ball, load of divot, and not getting the shot that he wants. Those two practice swings, by the way, you've just shown, look exactly what, what Rich has done there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the initial launch of the shot and the flight of the shot, not by just changing the attack angle by actually changing what we do with the loft through the golf ball. So Rich was very much hitting down into the ground. What we actually want to do is keep the body moving, but actually de-loft the club by leaning the shaft more forward. So we're going to get you to feel as if we can move through like this. The body continues to move. I'm not going to actually take loads of turf here. I'm going to actually sort of almost create a brush. I'm still going to hit slightly down, but I'm going to brush and change it by leaning the shaft forward, which means I'm going to continue to rotate the body through. It's more the fact of getting the shaft length forward. Let's hit a shot, a normal pitch shot, yeah? Okay, normal Which pitch shot. Which is something shot. that you would normally do as well. This is a shot yeah. that you quite like playing. So a normal sort of ball position here, sort of middle to just ahead of the stance. Just normal shot, normal trajectory to this 50 yard pin. Nice strike. A little bit long. A little bit big as you say. But pretty nice strike, not much interaction with the turf there. Okay, we've got some good numbers there. It's amazing, isn't it? That was not a lot of interaction with the ground and the attack angle was still 4.2 degrees down. Um, we've got launch angle 40 degrees, dynamic loft was 46 degrees when you've hit that one. And the height, the overall height was 36 feet. So there's a okay. lot of numbers in there. We'll come back to those when we play the next shot. So let's go to this low flying shot then. So I am gonna move the ball position back slightly because it will help a little bit. But the main focus now is on the way through, I'm really going to feel as if I can lean the shaft forward, continue to turn the body and keep this club low on the way through here. I don't really want to allow the club to release past me. I'm gonna to continue to move the body, lean the shaft forward, but brush the shot as well. My lead shoulder on this, you'll notice my lead shoulder is actually going upward. When this lead shoulder goes upward, it means the club isn't gonna go severely down and we don't want this downward movement into the back of the ball there. That's really nice. I'll okay. have a look at that. So ball position slightly further back. You'll see I won't interact loads with the ground on this one, but I'm really gonna turn through and lean that shaft forward. Definitely a better distance on that one, Pierce, as well. Yeah. 
a lot lower flight. You are a lot lower. So 23.4 versus 36.2 on the height. Okay, there's so definitely some other interesting things. The spin's gone up by a thousand on that one as well. The launch angle, 31 degrees on that versus 40 degrees on the one before. Dynamic loft is six degrees less, it's 40 degrees. Um, I mean, overall, you can see on that golf shot there, the way that you've put that shaft into the golf ball there has changed a lot of how exactly. the golf ball's flown out there. But the one thing, sorry, on the no strike. No divot either. No divot still, <clears throat> absolutely. The one thing on the strike there, you caught that one a centimetre from the bottom. The one before was half a centimetre higher up the face. So that yeah. makes, and you can see that from Rich's video there that it was definitely coming up high on the face. So he's hit, trying to hit this low shot. He's taking a big divot, getting the ball back and it's just popping up in the air. Exactly. Like, so that's no good. So it just shows how you can change the ball flight by changing this not necessarily just trying to hit down into the back of the golf ball. We can really make a big difference by what we do with the shaft, but also what we do with the body. We don't need to hit aggressively down into the back of the ball. What I was doing was keeping the shaft leaning forward, my lead shoulder was going up and I was continuing to turn the body through and we'll get that low flying ball, ball there. What I, what I like about this though, Andy, is that actually you've just shown two really good options and I think it's good to have both of those options when you're playing. So make sure you practice this. You know, we look at the short game and a lot of people perhaps don't work this. In fact, you know, what are your woes with your short game? Post down below so maybe we can do some content on that. But I think when you've got two options when you're pitching, I think that's really important, isn't it? It is, yes. So I think give that a go. Practice it next time you get on the golf course or on the practice area and you'll start to get a feel, but don't get taking some huge divots, brush the ground, keep the shaft leaning forward and you will see a difference. Hope that helps. Make sure you comment below as Pierce mentioned there, how can we help you? Hit that subscribe button to see videos just like this that we will help you play better golf. And also a lot of people ask us, Pierce, how can we get coaching from you? Yeah, look, well, you know what? The best way to do this is to go to meandmygolf.com and have a look at our coaching plans. So Break 100, Break 90, and the newly released Break 80. Thousands of golfers have done these now, and they're six-week plans where we personally guide you through how to break 100. Lots of fantastic content on a weekly basis. We show you exactly what to do. It's the best way to improve your golf this year. It is. Why not? Make sure you check it out. Click the link in the description, and we'll see you next time.